Primary numbers show that a pro pot bill will likely be on the November ballot here in Ohio. Responsible Ohio turned in thousands of signatures tonight to meet the requirements to make the ballot. Now, if marijuana is legalized in Ohio, it could have a big effect on certain local businesses. NBC4's Mike Bowersock is live in Columbus tonight with more on that. Well, for decades, there have been stores that uh, sell items that make it easier to uh, smoke marijuana. In fact, here in the short north, there are two nearly next to each other in the same block. They are legal and post that their products are for uh, smoking tobacco only. In fact, here's a sign. You could actually be thrown out of the store for using any of these words. But they may not need to make any of these claims if this uh, makes it to the ballot and if this becomes legal. To find out how those who will be most directly affected by marijuana legalization feel, we came to High Street. There are at least six smoke shops on North High Street. We stopped by four and two agreed to talk to us on camera. I mean, this is all legal, you know. It's not like we're selling anything illegal. Technically, these water pipes and the like are for tobacco products. What someone does with them when they leave the store, well, that's their business. No, we don't want any to, anyone to be able to walk out the store and get in trouble just because they purchased a tobacco water pipe or other accoutrements. Some of the stores are for legalizing marijuana, but against the organization trying to do it. Some hope it will be on the ballot as it's been proposed. Others just don't care. Here at The Joint, they couldn't be happier that all indications are it will make it to the ballot. They believe legalization will lead to more business. Hopefully increase. If it makes it to the ballot, it has to pass, and there are already legal challenges to that. But these stores have been around for years, filling a want and they believe a need that keeps them in business. There's a lot of easily accessible, you know, high quality marijuana on, you know, out in the city. For some of the shops, they view the time has come. If it is put on the ballot, if it is approved and made legal, they are already in the business of supplying some of what will be used in the new Ohio industry. This is a good thing for everyone, not just as a business. One of the smoke shops is against this being on the ballot. All has to do with Responsible Ohio, that group, and claims this is all a monopoly that other groups should be allowed to grow and sell it. Remember, there are other pro marijuana groups that are uh, trying to get involved with this as well. We're live in Columbus in the short north. I'm Mike Bowersock, NBC4.